I have a question. How many of you play video games? When I first started playing video games, I was fascinated. My best friend, whom I've known for a very long while, taught me the basics of League of Legends. Now, if any of you have ever tried to play League of Legends, it's really complicated. On average, it takes a player around a quarter to half a year to fully understand the fundamentals of the game. As I played, I wanted to get really, really good at the game in a short period of time. I wanted to improve, become better. So I asked my best friend, how do I become good at League of Legends? Back then, he gave me the answer that inspired me to spread an idea. He simply said, turn your autopilot off. Moving a bit away from video games, I want to teach you all what the autopilot is. To begin with, the human mind has always had a tendency to automate almost everything that we do. We do this because it makes our lives easier. As soon as we've learned the correct way of doing something, we repeat it over and over so that we don't do it wrong. In the human brain, this function is called the default mode network. In short, DMN. Let's use driving a car, for example. In case you drive, you've probably noticed that driving gets easier over time. Well, there are some unique cases where this doesn't apply. I think we all know that one driver, but you get the point. Maybe you can remember the first time you got behind the wheel, you're nervous. Everything is new, so you have to focus on multiple things at, a, at one time. What's happening in front of you? What's happening behind you? Maybe which pedal to press, how to hold the steering wheel, and so on. But naturally, after time, it becomes more and more effortless. There was probably a moment in time where you were so good at driving that there was no more need for improvement. And this is where the autopilot mode comes into play. We don't use our full consciousness anymore. We don't have to fully concentrate on what we're doing in the present. At this point, the only part where you snap out is when something unforeseen happens, like when the car in front of you suddenly stops. If you drive, let's say, from home to school, how much of the ride did you actually remember? You surely remember the way from A to B, or in our case, from home to school. But do you remember how many times you switched lanes? How many times you had to stop at a stop sign? Or how many times you had to stop at a traffic light? You see, this is clear evidence that the autopilot mode restricts our awareness, therefore making life straightforward, simple, and easy. Driving isn't the only aspect of our lives where the autopilot mode applies. It applies to almost every single thing we do on a regular basis. And we don't even notice it. Our autopilot mode takes care of our routine tasks, like getting up in the morning, brushing your teeth, getting dressed, and so on. Personally, I've brushed my teeth the same ever since I fully learned how to use a toothbrush. And there's no real reason to brush my teeth in another way, right? Sometimes the autopilot mode is beneficial in cases where we don't need our full awareness. However, there is a point where the autopilot mode isn't beneficial anymore and just limits many things that we perceive. I especially noticed this when I played video games. I believed that I knew how everything in the game worked. So from that point on, I didn't need to improve. My autopilot mode was switched on from one moment to the other, and I stayed the exact same position until my best friend drew my awareness to the autopilot mode. And obviously, playing video games was not the only scenario where my senses doled down. It happened to me when I was doing my homework, when I was showering. It also happened every time I woke up. And maybe you can relate to waking up the same way almost every single way, I mean day. Now, I know that you might be thinking, how do I turn my autopilot mode off? How can I break out of this cycle? It's actually quite simple. All you have to do is change your perspectives. Let me explain. I watched a YouTube video from a channel named Tifero explaining a couple ways to understand and turn off your autopilot mode off. And I found one approach very helpful. In fact, I want you all to join me. I want you to focus on all of your five senses. Focus on what you can see, not just what's on stage, but also everything around you. Focus on what you can hear, 
Maybe you just mysteriously noticed the sound that wasn't there before. Or I'm just playing a mind game. Next, what you can feel, smell, and for some, maybe even taste. I know that this is something we usually don't do. However, think of it as an opportunity to learn something new. With so much going on in our minds, we easily forget the world around us. We often don't notice what's happening. Sometimes you just have to ask yourself, am I even in full control of what I'm doing? Because most of the time, we aren't. Maybe you are perceiving everything around you the exact same way you've always have. For me, this helped me with living in the moment. I learned how to control my perception so that I found common, everyday things more interesting. I feel like I have more influence over my life, and I learned to view many things in a new light. I was able to grow, regain control, and learn so much more than I thought I was ever able to learn. With understanding and controlling your autopilot mode, we can all learn more and be more conscious of everyday happenings, and I believe that is an idea worth spreading. Thank you.